Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a fire effect in Flash super quickly. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna bump up the frame rate to about 30. And the reason behind this is I'm gonna be using particle effects. So you want quite a high frame rate in order for the effects to be nice and smooth. Okay, so next I'm gonna go over here to the deco tool. And with it, you'll get a library of different effects. So I'm gonna go down here to fire animation. Okay, so I'll show you how the tool works. So the second you click down, it's going to run through the frames here and animate the fire for you until it gets to a certain amount of frames. And the default here is 50, so it will stop at exactly 50 frames. So I'll just click down and it'll start going through all the frames of the fire for you. So let's check it out. All right, brilliant. What you can also do is click, hold, and drag, and the fire will follow your cursor. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change a few variables. Okay, so the fire size, this is pretty self-explanatory, but the default fire size is quite small, so I'm gonna change that to about 150. Now the fire speed, if you increase this, it will make the fire burn out quicker and I want the fire to burn out for a decent amount of time so I'm actually going to keep that at 100%. Okay, so now the frame duration, as I mentioned before, it's at 50 and this is quite a small amount of frames so I'm going to increase that to about 120. So you've got about 4 seconds of animation. Okay, now you can activate this function here, end animation, and what it means is when the amount of frames you specified here has a lap, so in this case 120, once it gets to 120, it will actually create more frames afterwards and let the fire burn out. So I'm going to keep this on. So you can change the color of the fire individually here, and I'm not going to change this because the colors work quite nicely on their own. And also, at the bottom here, you can change the amount of fire sparks coming off the fire, and the default is 5 and the maximum is 10, so I'm going to just put it up to the maximum here. All right, let's test it out with these new settings. All right, brilliant. Now when it gets to around 120, you'll notice that afterwards it will add in the new frames where it burns out. I'm just gonna leave it there, and then when it gets to about 120 there, it will start burning out and extinguishing itself. All right, there you go. And the amount of frames uh, after your specified amount depends on how much fire is on the screen at once. Okay, so one final thing. If you've activated the tool but you want to end early, all you have to do is press enter. And there you go. Okay, so this has been a super quick tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions about future tutorials you want me to do, just leave me a comment in the comment section below or send me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks.